Okay, this is how to subnet using the story of King Router and his kingdom. So King Router ruled the land known as 192.168.1.0 WAC24, also known as 192 IP address 192, I'm sorry, network address is 192.168.1.0 with a subnet of 255.255.255.0. King Router was so concerned about the security of his land because it was so vast. One kingdom and its small band of knights was not enough to keep everyone safe from invasion. He decided to create smaller lands within his kingdom and each land would be secured by their own set of protectors. King Router's villagers were known by zero and one and so his land would be known by the same way. First, he had to create the four lands with two protectors each. So land one was known as zero, zero. Land two was known as zero, one. Land three was known as one, zero. And land four was known as one, one. Now we had to assign the villagers for land one. So starting with the land of zero, zero, our villagers start with zero, 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 and one and go all the way up to one, 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 one. Next, he had to assign villagers to land two. Again, here's our protectors, zero and one. And his villagers again were zero, 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 one, two, one, 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 one. Okay, next we had to do land three. Here we have the protectors of one and zero. And again, the villagers were zero, 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 one, and then one, 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 one. Okay, next we do land four. Here we have the protectors of one, one. And we identify our villagers. We have zero, 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 one, to one, 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 one. Okay, now that King Router had everyone split up into four groups, he just had to add their addresses so everyone knew where they belonged. So our protectors that make up our network, in this case we have zero and zero. And again we have zero here. Okay, those are our protectors, these are our villagers, network and hosts. Zero, 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 one. And again, we have one, 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 one. Now, to identify their actual address, all we have to do is add up the numbers. So here we have one, so we have dot one. And then we add up 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 63. So their addresses or their identification ranged from dot 1 to dot 63 with the protectors of 00. Next we'll look at land 2. 
Now on Lean 2, again, we have the protectors of 0 and 1. And again, our protectors are our hosts. I'm sorry, our protectors are our network. And then our hosts are our villagers. So here we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So if we add 64 plus 1, we get 65. Now our ending address is going to be here 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And if we add up 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, we get 127. So our address ranges, or our villagers, are going to vary from 0.65 to 0.127 in LAN 2. So now let's look at LAN 3. Let's separate out our protectors and our villagers, or I'm sorry, our network and our hosts. Here we have our protectors 1 and 0. And then again we have our hosts, or our villagers, 0, 0. 0, 0, 0, 1, and then 1, 1, oops, 1, 1, 1, 1. So if we add 128 plus 1, we get 129. And if we add 128 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1, we get 191. So our addresses in land 3 are going to vary, are going to range from dot 129 to 191. Now let's look at land 4. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to separate out our protectors from our villagers or our network from our hosts. Here we have 1, 1. Again, 0, 0, 0. 0, 0, 1. And if we add that, 128 plus 64 plus 1 is going to be 193. And then here we're going to add that. So 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 255. Okay, so King Router's network of 192.168.1.0 WAC24, we've now changed that to 192.168.1.0 WAC26. Uh, we've also changed the subnet address from 255.255.255.0 to 255.255.255.192. <coughs> now, how did we get this number? Well, remember, everything breaks down into binary. So to get that number, which is actually this number, all we're doing is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, dot, 0. Actually, 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, that's how we got this 255.255.255 because all we've done is we've added up all these bits and they equal 255. Now, to get to the 192, this is how we broke up our network. 
So we're borrowing bits. Let's change this. So now instead of a zero, this one's a one. And this is a one. And we're able to make up our four networks with a combination of zero, 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 one, one, zero, and one, one. And that's giving us our subnet of this dot 192. Okay, so our four networks break down to 192.168.1.1 to 192.168.1.63. Our next one is 192.168.1.65 to 192.168.1.127. Our, our third network is 192.168.1.129 to 192.168.1.191. And our last network is 192.168.1.193 to 192.168.1.255. Now, you're gonna notice we have a number missing. So let me go ahead and explain that. First of all, this number, oops, This number is going to be our broadcast. Do that in blue. So this is actually going to be our broadcast for each of these for this network. I'll label it as BR. So in this one is going to be 191. It's going to be the broadcast for this network. Think of the broadcast as the town crier. If you send it, if you send a message to the broadcast, it's going to go to everybody within that village or that network. Okay, so there's the broadcast for that one. There is the broadcast for this one. Okay, now what we need is the network address. For, um, for the network. So here we have network one, network two, network three, network four. So the network address for this one is going to be dot zero. Oops dot zero. The network address for this one is going to be dot 64. And I'm working with my mouse, so I apologize because some of this is a little weird. Okay, and then we have the network address for this, for the third network is dot 128. And then the network address for this one is dot one. 92. Okay, and that's how you do subnetting. That's the end. Are we going to like.